Um, I will tell you that I find it easy 80, 85% of the time, but there are 15, 20% of the time where I'm, you know, struggling just like everybody else trying to figure it out. And there's only basically one thing that we can do, and that's keep. Mike, the Golden State Picker, with another video for you. Today is book day. We're going to talk books. We're going to show you a couple other things besides books, so stick around. But we're going to talk about average selling price, um, a few things to think about on the average selling price of your, your store. I'll talk about mine. I'll talk about today's average selling price. Ways to think. Uh, there's many ways to basically, uh, you know, skin a cat, whatever you want to call that, you know, but there's many ways to make money on eBay and on Amazon. And we're going to talk about my thinking a little bit more about these books and some other things. And we're going to give you one inspirational thing at the beginning. We like to talk about other things. Uh, we like to bring reselling uh, to uh, into life. It's great to see everything that's sold and uh, found, all that kind of stuff. But there is some things, because it's difficult for some, some people find it easier. Uh, I will tell you that I find it easy 80, 85% of the time. But there are 15, 20% of the time where I'm, you know, struggling just like everybody else trying to figure it out. And there's only basically one thing that we can do, and that's keep going, okay? And I'm going to read from a book. I'm gonna, it's not going to take too long, so stick around. This is good. The book is Keep Going, The Art of Perseverance, Joseph Marshall III, author of the Lakota Way. Lakota Way would be an Indian tribe. But anyhow, it's a very interesting uh, uh, little story. And yeah, I want to read it to you because I think a lot of people need some stuff occasionally. I know I do. Now, this was out of my, my library and my library was getting a little cramped and I cleaned it up when I did the garage. And the other day I'm looking straight at it and that book said, Mike, pick that book up. In my mind, I picked it up. And now I'm going to take this one and read it. I'm going to read it again. And I forgot about the story in the front of the book. So let's, let's go. It's really quick. Uh, I'll make it, uh, as brief as possible, but really think about this, okay? A young man asked his grandfather why life had to be so difficult sometimes. This was the old man's reply. Grandfather says this, in life there is sadness as well as joy, losing as well as winning, falling as well as standing, hunger as well as plenty, badness as well as goodness. I do not say this to make you despair, but to teach you reality. Life is a journey sometimes walked in light, sometimes in shadow. Grandfather says this, You did not ask to be born, but you are here. You have weaknesses as well as strengths. You have both because in life there is two of everything. Within you is the will to win as well as the willingness to lose. Within you is the heart to feel compassion as well as the smallness to be arrogant. Within you is the way to face life as well as the fear to turn away from it. Grandfather says this, life can give you strength. Strength can come from facing the storms of life, from knowing loss, feeling sadness and heartache, from falling into the depths of grief, you must stand up in the storm. You must face the wind and the cold and the darkness. When the storm blows hard, you must stand firm for it is not trying to knock you down. It is really trying to teach you to be strong. Grandfather says this, being strong means taking one more step toward the top of the hill. No matter how weary you may be, it's, it means letting the tears flow through the grief. If it means to keep looking for the answer through the darkness of despair is all around you. Being strong means to cling to your hope for one more heartbeat, one more sunrise. Each step, no matter how difficult, is one more step closer to the top of the hill. To keep hope alive for one more heartbeat at a time leads to the light of the next sunrise. 
and the promise of a new day. Grandfather says this, the weakest step toward the top of the hill, towards sunrise, towards hope, is stronger than the fiercest storm. Grandfather says this, keep going. And that's from Keep Going, The Art of Perseverance by Marshall. Uh, very cool story. And that's what it is. Some days you just, you just feel it. Some weeks, some months, it just seems like you're in the storm. You know, the Bible talks about it all the time. And, and you got to weather the storm. It's, it is just keep going. It's perseverance. It's the ability to just take the next step. So keep going. Don't quit. Don't give up persevere, fight on, all that kind of stuff. You hear it. That's all you can do. That's all I do. Um, and I thought I was going to have a bad day today and I ended up having a good day. So you see how the mind plays, right? I don't know why I felt that way, but then I had an okay day. I had a great day. Nothing really major went wrong, so I'm happy so far. Now there's still time to blow up, but you get what I mean. So keep these things in mind. Basics, right, of life, and that's what it is. Same thing in reselling. Sometimes it's not going right. It's okay. There's going to be days when it does switch around. All right, let's take a look at what we found as far as uh, some book stuff. And uh, um, let's start right over here. I've talked about this series, okay? And this is one to collect, is Dogman. Now, there are, um, I believe, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's about 15 now. Three of them are Cat Kid. And the new one now is Dogman, the Scarlet Shredder. That's a newer one. And then um, I got Cat Kid Comic and the other one. So this will be a 12-book lot. This is going to sell for right around 40 because it's got those two extra books. Now... Um, uh, if you have all of them, they go even more, okay? And if you have a, just the 10, maybe 35, 30, uh, all that. Now, pre-weigh them media-wise, because it's media mail, and guess the box size, and then go into the... You should always have a chart of media mail when it comes to books for weight. And after a while, you'll get pretty good at it. You'll know that the dog man is X dollars, all that kind of stuff. And just kind of look as you're listing the items. Say, okay, that's 14 pounds. I'm going to charge this. Don't forget to add about a dollar. That's, so, that's something I do when I'm dealing with exact measurements. I'll add a dollar to my cost or my, my cost of shipping, basically. Now, Bibles, we talk about it. I found a new, I found two different ones today, so we'll talk about it. I found a Holy Bible, A.W. Tozer. Um, nice Bible, and this one I think has a comp of $63 on eBay. So I'll try to put that up and show you. So uh, maybe, we'll see. Um, it looks clean. I, I didn't look to see if there was anything on the presented to page. No, I think it's 50 to 60 then, if it's nothing on there. So I should be okay there. This one is in a leather-bound case, and it is uh, Korean, 1977. So there is some value here. I don't know how much exactly, but it's in pretty decent condition. So uh, let's just call it 25, okay? 25 and 50, there's 75 right there, plus the dog man, which I think is 45. So we're over 110, $120 just right there. Now, I'm personally doing a few different things when it comes to Amazon versus eBay. I'm actually looking a little closer at these more, uh, the higher priced books in general, trying to figure out where this is better suited, eBay or Amazon. And I tend to push to eBay because Amazon is just getting kind of out of control with the fees, the returns. Uh, a lot of things seem to be going on over there. And I'm thinking to myself, why can't I control this book and, and make the money fee-wise, and, and even if I lose 2 or $3, it's not going to kill me because I don't know how many I'm going to get returned. That's the thing. Almost every day, if you're doing enough business on Amazon, you're going to get some returns, so keep that in mind. So like this, this is reliability, verification, testing, analysis, and engineer design. Whew. Very good condition, and I will put this up on eBay. Now, um, it might take a while to sell, but I'll put it up at a very aggressive price, $25, $29. I'll look at it a little closer. And you know what? I've been selling these type of books that have basically no sales, but because I'm putting them down, when there when there's no sale to print, these I don't know where are these guys on these books. Some of these books you'll see a hundred dollars and just pictures of the cover, no picture of the book. I think people are 
a little bit leery of going that way and buying something without seeing the actual product. So by me having it pictures like 10 or 12 or 13 pictures, that gives me a little bit more validity, I think, when it comes to trying to sell something like this. And then I drop the price, boom, sell it. Here's another one, look at, look at the title, Pressure Sensitive Adhesive Tapes, A Guide to Their Function, Design, Manufacture, and Use. Eh, there might be a guy out there who does a lot of this and goes, I want that book for my collection. Who knows? So I'll put that kind of item up. So keep your eye out for those kind of titles, especially if you get them for 50 cents a buck, something where you're not a whole lot into them. That's great. Now, this one, because I know what Steinbach is, look at this book, okay? Many of you know right now what it is. And Steinbach is nutcrackers, okay? So there they are, okay? You find some Steinbach nutcrackers that can be worth some money, all right? Now, this is a very clean book, very nice. And again, look for things like this. Look how unusual it looks, that kind of thing. It looks, okay, it looks different. And this should get me, I think, 30 to $40, okay? So this is the kind of stuff. I know that there's a lot of books out there that talk about certain glass, certain things. Some of those can be, but most aren't super valuable. But one like that, nah, not a problem there. That's a good one. I'm trying to look, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna show you one more set of books. But I found this today, and I thought this was kind of cool. Education in Espanol. Spanish edition. I have never found that. That was in my bin. So I'm going to take this out. I don't think I'm going to get a whole lot. Maybe $20 to $25 max. But i got to count all the tiles first. So ah, I just thought it was super cool. It's in very good shape. Christmas coming up. I'll put it up right away. All that kind of stuff. Ah, Now, I always love finding the Bible stuff. This is... Um, the Interlinear Bible, Greek, English, okay, four volume set, very nice condition. Look at this, boom, okay. Um, this is about 75. So we're talking Bibles and Bible commentaries, things like that, that can be worth a lot of money. You can run into some that can go for super money too. So keep all that in mind when you're out there looking. That's where we're going to stop for this portion. And we're going to go and clean this up. And I'm going to come right back and I'm going to show you uh, about 20 items. We'll go through them really quick because they're mostly books and that. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about that average selling price, all that, and kind of how to think a little bit and trick the mind. So we'll be right back and show you what we sold. Okay, everybody, it is time to show you what we found. We're going to talk about 20 items or so, I think, here. $687. Day and a half, still have some time to go today. Um, and I want to talk about my average selling price and average selling price in general and the way to think about it the way I do. Um, basically, 687, if you divide that out, it's $34 ASP or average selling price for mostly books. Okay, pretty heavy in books in this section. There are a few things in here, but uh, if you divide, let's say it's 700. Okay, let's divide 700 out. That would be 350 a day, okay? And now you've heard me talk about uh, multiplying times 365, okay? Whatever, think 100, 200, 300. It's about $120,000 a year gross sales on eBay at 350 roughly, okay? My average selling price is right at $70, and it pretty much sits there most of the time. Now, I average about $500 a day in sales. This is a little bit slow here. We're almost 700, so 350. So we are under a little bit, but it is summer. And what we want to do is just continue to focus, like we talked about the front of this video, is to keep moving forward. Try to find the best stuff. Try to get your ASP up. Now, I have an issue because now I'm doing books, and these books uh, some of them I'm selling $15, $20, so it, it might ding my ASP, but it hasn't dinged it too bad. Overall, we're looking at $70 ASP um, over the long haul, and I was at $72, $73 last year, so we will see where that all shakes out in a minute. We've got a little bit of noise going through the pipes here, so it should stop in a second. <laughs> uh, I got pipes. I got everything in this garage. Uh, so let's get right into then what we, what we sold so we can show you. Uh, we'll start off with a non-book, basically, all right? This is the Plano Trail Pack. It is a, um, uh, for tackle gear, 
for fishing and whatever else. Brand new, I had it for a while. And I didn't pay a whole lot, so we managed to get rid of this. Uh, we sold it, I think it was $20 plus $11 on the shipping side. So uh, again, uh, some of these tackle box things, uh, they can sell. Some can't, they might take a while, and some of the boxes are a little bit bulky, so keep that in mind. Uh, but you can sell them locally, especially, if, and this is what I'm talking about, maybe in your local areas, big fishing, Alabama, Minnesota, wherever, you know, you got a lot of bass fishing, uh, North Carolina, that would be a good place maybe for the bigger items on Facebook Marketplace. So I do use Facebook Marketplace for some of the bigger items. I just sold a bicycle. I did pay 300 and I sold it for 650. So uh, yeah, I will use Facebook Marketplace. All right, let's get into some books now. Here is one you wanna keep your eye out. This is Little House in the Prairie. This was difficult to find on Amazon. I found it, but to try and get it sold, there was just nothing there. And so I said, you know what? We're not gonna take a chance. We're not gonna flip it over into Amazon. We're gonna sell it on eBay. And Little House sold for 28 plus $10 shipping. So nice little find there. Again, this came out of my bin also. Here we go. Uh, Microsoft SQL Server 7.0, brand new. Now, some of it, some software can go for 80, 90. I've sold a lot of different software for a lot of different prices. Um, but the uh, SQL sold for 30 plus nine on the shipping side. Okay, nice find there. Now, let's switch down to uh, basically the lower side. I couldn't resist Ren and Stimpy. I think this is season one, two, and three. And I think, it, yeah, it's, it's all the way up to three and a half. -ish. It's a weird little set, but it doesn't sell for a lot of money. But again, it is consistent money. And this Ren and Stimpy sold for, I think it was $11 plus $7 shipping. Now, Media Mail. I am generally sitting at $6.95 across the board for under two pounds. That's where I'm setting it. I have boxes that I get for free, so the box won't cost me there. Now, certain ones, the box will cost me 70 cents. So that's why we're doing $6.95. Uh, it might cost four, but I get a dollar for the box and a dollar for time. So that's generally how I'm, I don't try and keep yourself straight on because you're also got fees on top of that. So if you're charging $7, uh, you know, eBay is gonna take fees on top of that. So keep that in mind when you're doing it. Now, little uh, vocabulary. This is a uh, Spark Notes English vocabulary. One thousand looks like one thousand study cards. I think. Yep, one thousand study cards, and these didn't go for big money either. I'm tr I'm trying to find it here. Uh, uh, it was like eleven or twelve dollars for this one. So I'll put it up. You can see what it is. I don't know why I can't see it sometimes. I, I try to be organized somewhat. And then I just look down here and I draw a blank. Not good. <laughs> All right, hot category is homeschooling. Anything to do with homeschooling. This is Beast Academy. I was missing one of the practice books, the A. So I had four A, B, C, and D on the guides and A, B, I mean C, D, and E, or B, C, and D. <whistles> Try that again. And this is Beast Academy. And Beast Academy sold for, I think it was, I can find this one, I know I can. Oh, Beast was 44 plus $10 on the shipping side. Wow, we'll put that right here. Ah, let's go here. The Complete Jewish Study Bibles. There are many of these. And this one is in really good shape, but doesn't sell for a ton of money. Got 25 plus $8 on the shipping there. Um, so that's really nice. Ah, two book volumes. This was another situation, same thing on Amazon versus eBay. And I thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna do okay on eBay versus Amazon. Uh, so I did, I put it on eBay and Updike, the two book volume got 27 plus $8 on the shipping side for that particular two volume set. Got to find some room. Ah, let's switch it up. How about this out of my friend's locker? If you've been around, you know, I bought my friend's locker for 2,800. 
over 14, heading towards 15,000. Uh, that's gross sales, obviously. This is Dungeons and Dragons, The Legend of Drizzit. And nice game. Feels like it could be worth a lot of money. Mm, not a whole lot. The dungeon sold for 30 plus 20 on the shipping side. So still a nice, a nice sale, but again, you know, some games they look expensive, but they're not. So just keep that in mind when you're out there. Make sure you don't overpay. Uh, out of the bin, I find other things. This is, I can't say the name, Evanescence Fallen. Now this one did not have, only had the gray. It's a gray album. Did not have a sleeve and I'm out of sleeves. I need to buy that. That's another thing you need to buy are some of these, if you're doing records, is sleeves. And I didn't have it, so I put it up anyhow, knowing that, hey, it was pretty much costing me nothing. I got 12 plus $6 on the shipping side for that one. Hey, same thing, out of the old bin. Uh, some DVDs, this is a Savvy Club DVDs, and it's all about horses. And this was a mid-series, not the complete series, so not, not going to be a lot of money in it. But the horse DVDs sold for $16 plus $7 on the shipping side. Love that. Uh, where are we at now? Let's go. Oh, we're going to swing up. Well, they saved that one for last. Here's a couple other ones, obviously. Here's one. Look out for stuff like this. This is what we're talking about. History of Nolan County, Texas. Very interesting book. You know, it's just the history of Nolan County. And uh, you've got to figure there's somebody. There was actually a few comps on it. And the Texas book sold for 20 plus 7 on the shipping side for that. That was, remember we talked about Bibles in different versions. This was a new one. This was modern English version. So that was a different one for me. And the brand is Paseo. Don't know about that brand, but anyhow, the Bible. Uh, we've got 30 plus $7. That's a nice little sale on the Bible. Love that one. Again, here's another one. E-score, everything like that plays a factor again on Amazon. And this one here is child development, brand new. Then I got... Uh, what do I get? I got $60, I think, on this one. Let me take a look here. Child, 60 plus 7. So, again, it's me versus Amazon, eBay on some of these books. I'm feeling like I'm controlling these, and they're not coming back. So, that is really good. Now, I'm going to put up here a lot of books. We're talking about some um, some fantasy books. And I think this is Dragon... Dragon uh, Oh, I can't remember the name. It's off the top of my head. I'm going to put it up here. But it's like about 34 books, I think. $80 plus $16 shipping. So you can just see how books, I mean, this is a pretty good video to understand books, how you can still make some pretty decent money just selling the books, right? Ah, I've got a couple more. We're going to save that one for last. Stick around for that one. That one's pretty cool. Another one, Heroes for War Games. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, World of Warcraft, uh, role-playing games, all that kind of stuff. Now, this one didn't have a lot of comps, so guess what? We made sure we gave it a good price. This is going overseas, too, so global shipping. Make sure you turn that one on. Because once this gets to eBay, I'm taken care of. So this one, uh, this one sold for eh, Heroes, 30 plus $7 on the shipping side of that. And, oh, you know what? I'm going to show you this one. Here's a, here's a couple more. This one here is uh, Mo Williams. And he has a kid series with the, ele with the elephant, Elephant and Piggy. And this is a little lot, so I put together one that I got out of my bin. I didn't get, uh, you know, big dollars for it. But Mo Williams, 23 plus uh, 13. And this is a weigh it situation, okay? You got to make sure you weigh it. And then don't lose money on that by guessing. Weigh it. And then put the price up. Well, how many? You're something. How many of you uh, remember this? Walter Foster, right? And uh, these books. Uh, and these still are out there. They're at uh, Michael's and that kind of stuff. I think you can get them. This is color and composition. But there was about 10 or 12 here in a lot. And I thought, you know what? Let's, um, uh, let's make a lot and sell it. You know, and we got 25. 25 bucks plus $10 on the shipping side for some Walter Foster 
stuff. Super cool. We got two to go. I'm going to put that one there. Uh, I always look at this game and I always want to get this game, no matter what. This was like three or four bucks at Savers. Used games there are like $4 max. This is Masterpiece, the art auction game, and it's pretty easy to count the pieces. Everything is there in this one. And um, you find one new, you can really make some decent money. Um, this one is, uh, what did we get for this one? 20, here, Masterpiece, 24 plus 15. Now, the UPS, USPS ground advantage is working really well. So you just got to kind of, you know, um, make sure that the box is about the size of this when you're shipping. And you should be spot on, maybe even make a buck or two. You should be able to do that. Now, the last one. We save the most expensive. <laughs> this is it. This is the most expensive item I sold. What is it? Frank Muller Geneva. Yes, it is a watch box. I got to open it up so I can't do it with one hand. Very nice. Okay. Super nice. We got about eight or ten of these and we paid $10 each. I think $9.99 minus the discount. Now, I got two of these. You got to be very careful about which one you package up and the reason is this one's got a black bottom and the other one has a brown bottom so you got to make sure you give them what they what they want there might be a reason why he wants the black bottom not sure but this sold for 110 dollars plus 16 dollars shipping i think it's overseas you'll sell a lot of these overseas and uh, that's good once you get the global shipping and get this out you're okay if they lose it or they damage it yeah, that's them. So uh, look for these watch box. Look at that. It's beautiful, like a burl wood. Super nice. Some can go for a lot of money. Rolex, bright lanes. Some of them can go for big dollars. So every category has something that sells for a lot of money, right? And that's why we keep looking. And how do we search? We go to eBay, sold, uh, completed, sold, and that's how we look for highest. Then we tap highest, and we want to see what the highest is in that category also, because that little computer we have called a brain is going to file that away, and hopefully you're going to remember certain things down the road. That's the way I work. All right, there you go. Some stuff we found, some inspiration, and some stuff we sold. Thank you so much for watching my channel. We always uh, like to tell you that. It's very important that if you'd like to contact me, comments, or email me, I always try to answer every single one. I look at every one for sure, and I might hit a like and a heart or something like that, uh, but I will definitely uh, respond to most of you, okay? All right, so thank you again, and uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, bell notification, two videos a week. That's about it. That's all we do. Thank you again. See you in my next video.